The Dancing with the Stars finale kicked off last night with a big bang, a surprising elimination that rocked the ballroom, leaving three couples vying for that mirror ball trophy tonight. ABC's Rachel Smith had the most exciting moments from last night's competition. A jaw dropping final night of competition, freestyle, the name of the game. Olympian Meryl Davis scoring a perfect 60 for the night, creating what the judges called a flawless work of art. Lynn and Bruno even trying to give the duo 11s for their freestyle. First of all, I think you guys should get married. <laughs> Paralympian Amy Purdy proving she can defy the odds and gravity. You are on orbit tonight. Actress Candace Cameron Bure having a challenging week. Partner Mark Ballas suffering a shoulder injury Sunday night. Of course, I want to do the dance with Mark. It would just feel horrible not to, but. But the dance went on, and DJ Tanner came out. Despite praises from the judges, actor James Maslow sent home. Just hours shy of the finale. I've really had an amazing experience on the show. I've enjoyed it more than I ever thought possible. I've made some amazing friends, and I'm just grateful for the opportunity. It's been a lot of fun. For Good Morning America, Rachel Smith, ABC News, Los Angeles. Season 14, Dance with the Stars champ Donald Driver and dance pro Louis Van Amstel join us for a little recap of the show. How you guys doing, man? We're doing good. Yeah? Doing good. Well, were you surprised last night to see um, James and Peter go home? I was surprised. I mean, I think uh, when you look at it, the first thing I kind of thought about as well, he's not going home. Mm. Candace would be the one to go home. But then it turns around, it's always a twist on this show. It's always a surprise. <laughs> and it was another surprise tonight. But, but no surprise with Meryl and Max, Louie. Oh, my goodness. The, the no. perfect scores. Carrie Ann was even crying after that freestyle. That was so humble. And what I think I'm so proud of Max mm. to actually put, again, that vulnerable side up. I think uh, Meryl did an amazing job yeah. getting uh, through to Max. It was amazing. I mean, the chemistry between them is palpable. Is that just great and dancing, or is there something <laughs> more I need to dancing. know? <laughs> but I think there's a sincere respect between the two of them. And Louis on to something. She, she has brought out something yeah. in him that others have it's not amazing. been able to. No, yeah. and I thought actually Aaron did it in season 10. Yeah. Uh, but uh, no, yeah, this Meryl is took like it a to another level. And I, th I hope they win because they deserve it from the beginning. They have had the best dancers. OK, but wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, we we need to talk about it. Oh, Don't Amy make Purdy. me separate you two over there. Listen, you, I have on. a healthy respect for my Louie. Uh -huh. The Amy yes. Purdy, I mean, yes. Pretty the amazing. Ariel, yes. uh, it was just breathtaking. And I want to ask you, Donald, could, I couldn't believe Len said, oh, that was unnecessary. To me, it was just an absolute moment I don't think I'll forget for quite a while. I, I will say this. Every time I watch the show, I'm at awe of what she can bring. Um, she inspires all of us that whatever you believe in, that you can accomplish. And so my goal is I think she's going to win it. But I'm Louis may have a different Louis. opinion than I do. <laughs> I look, I, I, I'm here, the professional <laughs> dancer, mm -hmm. so I have to look at dancing. I've been part of the show since day one, and we all know it's also fan base. That's why I think let's not rule out Candace well, from Full House. Well, speaking of the I fan mean, base, didn't we go, didn't we have a poll to see what people, how they voted at home, who they yeah. feel is going to win? And we did ask them. And the results of our GMA poll, three great... Marilyn, Marilyn Max. Max. All right, Louie. 73 All right, um, Lara. 70 wow. Yeah. Wow, wow. Yeah, and, and fighting through the injuries and all the things. Yeah, Amy I was going to say, and Mark amazing. Ballas, Mark, Mark injured his shoulder, and he's yeah. out there dancing. What's the one of the worst... Did you have any injuries when you were dancing? How tough is it to compete when you're injured like that? I, I never had any injuries. For me, it was more of... Aches and pains, so I didn't, didn't strain an injury because well, you we, that. Well, you, you got to think. Player. Yeah, you, we pain. prepare ourselves for the, the 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 heartaches. But the thing is, is that when you get up there, and you start to dance. You go, okay, I get a little tweak here and there. I can play through it. I, I got to say, he looked like he was just riding mm. pain, and then to get last night, you sort of didn't really see him, it being compromised. His dance performance. When the adrenaline kicks in, you forget everything. <laughs> yeah. And don't forget, Donald, your body versus Mark's body and then relatively to Candace and Mark. So he has a lot more weight to carry. I mean, Donald's a big guy, so it's, <laughs> it's a you, lot easier. That's why we all have injuries. Plus you gotta yeah. factor into a little sympathy um, votes, by the way, too. You yeah. gotta play a little bit more than that. Right. Well, Donald, thank you. Thank Louis, you thank you. Oh.
And the Mirror Ball Trophy winner will be crowned tonight on Dancing with the Stars, the finale at 9 p.m. Eastern, 8 Central. And don't miss all the finalists on our Dancing with the Stars after party, party. Wednesday morning, party. right here on GMA. Party We're right going to be getting it in. Party. The big party.